It seems that uh, palm tocotrienols have a multi-targeted uh, mechanistic approach uh, that could be useful in stroke therapeutics and prevention because as you know in stroke it is not just therapy but also secondary prevention. Once you have a mini stroke you have an extremely high risk for another big stroke and these are folks uh, plus folks that have a high risk factor for stroke uh, that would be subject to secondary prevention. And under these conditions, I think uh, palm tocotrienols uh, may have promise uh, by preventing clot formation, as well as uh, neuroprotection, as well as uh, rescue through arteriogenesis, as I just described. Aspirin is known uh, to have certain uh, complications uh, appear, including GI bleeding. Uh, in the case of tocotrienols, we have been now studying it on humans for our, about seven years and have tested several hundred patients uh, through IRB-approved studies, and we have not noted any uh, adverse effects so far. Uh, we will wait until the currently ongoing clinical trial on, on, on uh, victims of mini-stroke is completed, but as of now, we have not seen. And as you also know, uh, tocotrienol has already been awarded uh, the GRAS status uh, by the FDA, which is generally recognized as being safe. So compared to some of these other so-called drugs, this natural solution seem to be softer on the health. If uh, somebody taking aspirin uh, does not take aspirins for, say, 48 hours, the uh, effect on, on anti-clotting properties, if you will, uh, start losing. And that is because about a tenth of all the platelet of the body is made new every day. So if you don't have an aspirin memory in this new fraction of platelet that just got made, that anti-clotting property would not be uh, retained. In the case of tocotrienol, what we are seeing is that if you took it for, in our case, in our study, as I showed yesterday, for a couple of months, uh, it would load into subcutaneous fat tissue, and then that fat tissue uh, gradually releases the tocotrienol into the bloodstream, so you have some sort of a time uh, release system, a body's own time release system, in which case now we have shown, observed, as I showed yesterday, that up to 10 days of stopping tocotrienol intake, you still have uh, a complete abrogation of arachidonic acid-induced platelet aggregation.